Hello, Scorpio viewers. So last reading I did, I got that your creativity and your passion and your uniqueness was drawing in the right person. You had at least um, one secret admirer that was noticing you and noticing your energy and, and setting you apart from the rest, basically. Um, so yeah, let's see where we're at now. I do feel like new love is coming your way. I do feel that energy. I feel like this is a potent time for manifestation. I think that you guys are really getting into your creative energy and your, your true potential and your creative power right now. I feel like you guys either are or will be working on some creative projects in the near future. Um, And I think this is a potent time to push yourself and, you know, step outside the box and think creatively and, you know, really get in touch with yourself and your intuition and just let things flow. This is just a, this is a very potent, it's a very, it's just a very creative energy that I feel. And it's like a very potent time for manifestation and, you know, new projects and new love. So let's see what the cards have to say. All right, so for the Scorpio viewers, what can you tell me? What you know about your love life right now? It could be a new person, it could be an old person, it could be a soulmate, twin flame, just however it resonates. All right, so what do I need to know, Scorpio viewers? What do I need to know about your love life? I feel like some of you might be musicians too because I see I just feel that creative energy like you guys might be like you might be singing or you do art projects or there's just something very I don't know it's like you do like channeled art I feel it's like some of you do like you do art projects but it's like you channel the art like it's not it doesn't it comes from like an outside source or like with your music it's kind of like your your guides are are leading you on that path it's that kind of energy I feel so Okay, Queen of Cups. And people are noticing that, you know, like they're noticing that your whatever art projects or whatever music or creative, that creative energy, someone's noticing that and someone's really um, wanting to get to know you better is what I feel. It can be somebody who's just afraid of rejection though, like they don't want to reach out and have you not be interested could be somebody that you, hmm, that either you rejected before or just that they've been rejected a lot. So they have a hard time coming forward with feelings. All right. Ace of Swords, the Tower, the Sun, Eight of Cups, Eight of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and Queen of Cups. So this is interesting energy. I don't know why I just keep hearing something about rejection. Like you have a secret admirer, but they're like, I don't know. Maybe they're like intimidated for some reason. I don't know what it is. It's a really weird energy. So the energy I get from this is I think that this person, I think they were in this Ace of Swords energy, but like not really in a good way. I think that they were, they just had this this mentality that you know they can never be weak they can never be emotional they can never let anybody in or this could also be you it could be that you were in this mentality and the tower came and shook everything up for you and got you out of that mentality and you you went forward with the sun and um started looking to the future and getting yourself out of this energy and realizing that you're human and you're going to be vulnerable sometimes and it's okay to need love. Um, if it's not you that realized it, then this is your person that realized it. That, you know, is being kind of harsh, kind of defensive, distant, cold. You know, they just have this mentality that people shouldn't cry in public or people shouldn't show their emotions too much or... Just like an ego, this person just kind of had an ego and they were just very defensive. They probably had been through a lot that made them that way, though. I don't think they were just, I don't think it's just like general cockiness. I think there's more to it than that. I think this person is like, 
somebody who was holding it all together, but like barely holding it in. You know what I mean? Like they were really trying to be strong and they were just, it was like a very harsh, cold energy. Um, but the tower came in. And again, this could be you or this could be your person, however it resonates for your story. Because typically when I do these readings, sometimes there's a couple different stories that come out. And it's the case with you guys for this particular reading is that some of this is, some, for some of you, it's going to be you. For some of you, it's going to be your person. Um, but yeah, so this, this tower came in and just shook them out of that energy. Something happened that just broke them open and made them realize you know, they can't live their life like that. They have to let people in eventually. They have to be vulnerable sometimes. They have to, um, you know, open their heart up again or life isn't really worth living. Like, what's the point if you don't have people you love around you? Um, like, what's the point of being, like, robotic like that, you know? And so, yeah, with the tower, everything just got shaken up. And, and maybe they got their heart broken, or you guys, you know, broke each other's heart, something, some sort of energy like that, where it's like there was just some type of heartbreak or just some, something that just tore them open. But with the, the sun, they're, you know, your person is, is looking forward and they're wanting more. They're wanting to get out there. They've been through this tower energy. They've been going through it and they want to get out of that energy now and come forward and they want to start a new life. They want to start a new chapter and, and they most likely want to, I mean, I hear playing the field, but I do think that they're really interested in you, whatever this energy is. It's like, they want to see if, if you might want to come start that new life with them, you know, like look at her. She's just kind of seductive and sweet and it's like, she's waiting. Um, to see if you catch up to her and see if you, you want to start that new life with her. Um, you know, but both these cards, like the sun and the eight of cups, it's, it's, they're both talking about, you know, this person moving forward with their lives and, and just, you know, going on a new journey finally is, is basically what this energy is trying to say. I think could be that this secret admirer too is noticing you a lot more than they used to because i kind of feel like let's say the secret admirer was in this energy of you know the ace of swords that in the tower came and come and uh, came around and, and shook all that up and got them out of that energy so it's like maybe before they were like when they were in this energy they were attracted to you and they kind of noticed you but their heart really wasn't open to love and maybe they were holding on to an ex or they were holding on to the past or just holding on to some other type of energy so their heart just was really not open to you even though they might have thought you were cute and they might have noticed like your social media posts and stuff they just they had to have that tower come in and and change them and, and get them to be vulnerable again and get them back in touch with their, with themselves and get them to let go of their past. Um, so it could be that now that they're doing that, they're looking for, they're, they're moving on from the past with the sun and you know, they're, they're, yeah, they're in this eight of cups energy now where they're wanting to know if you'll start this new journey with them. Cause I think that, I think it's all like new energy to them. Like they're noticing you in a different light that they might not have seen you in as much before just because of the mentality that they were in. And now that they're more open to love, they're kind of looking around and noticing what their options are. And they're noticing that you might be an option for them. Um, and with the eight of cups, yeah, they're kind of, they're curious about you. It's like this, it's like they just took the blindfold off, you know, they just, they took the blindfold off and they're noticing what's around them. I think they completed something in their life too. Cause I think before they were in this eight of swords energy, which I think they might've been working too much or not working enough, or they were just kind of like, it's like almost like the energy of like survival mode and like kind of like this person, I just get the energy of like them being tired or depressed or exhausted. Just like this very like heavy run down kind of energy that they were in, you know, traditionally the eight of swords, it's somebody that's um, kind of victimizing themselves. Like they're doing it to themselves. And it's like they they have a castle right in front of them and they have the swords all around them and there's an opening right in front of their face, but they don't see it. They just see the swords that are around them and they feel trapped and they don't realize that they're not trapped. So I think that your person was like feeling like they were trapped in this energy and they had to be in that ace of swords energy we were talking about. Like they had to be that way. They had to, you know, it's a killer, kill, be, killer be killed world, world kind of energy where they just felt they 
they had to be that way. They had to be a certain way. And the tower just shook them up and opened them up and made them vulnerable and made them humble again. And they started taking more responsibility for themselves, I think, or they're about to. And they're realizing, you know, with the two of pentacles here, they're, they're realizing it's up to them to juggle work and family and love life and, and everything that in hobbies and career and just everything that they want in their life. They they're understanding that it's up to them to find that balance. It's up to them to learn to to juggle these different things in their life. Um, and so they're, they, they're getting themselves out of the eight of swords energy. And with the nine of pentacles too, I think that there might've been something that, um, completed like they, like with their career or college or a job or something, there might've been some like goal or something that they met. I kind of feel with the nine of pentacles, maybe that's why they're having an easier time balancing because one of the one of the stressors in their life isn't there anymore like they moved on from that um or they just reached some kind of completion this could just be like a new understanding too it's like a new way of being when it comes to finances and hobbies and career um they're just they're kind of just doing things differently and so yeah they're noticing you more they're noticing your creative energy more and they're, you know, they're open to you with the Queen of Cups here. This is somebody who's like loving, empathetic, um, very vulnerable, emotional, um, very open, you know, very committed and loyal, I feel. And, you know, he or she is, is um, you know, just kind of waiting and observing you and watching and, and seeing what you do next. And, and you know, they're, they're just, they're open to love in general right now, I feel. Like they really are noticing you specifically though, because you have this creativity and this passion and this courage and this different energy. And so they're just, maybe they just got out of like a karmic situation or they just got out of something that was weighing them down and keeping them stagnant. And now things are moving again and they're wanting to put some more focus. They've been putting so much effort into work and, and career and everything else. And now they're wanting to put some more focus on their love life. So they're looking around them and when they look around, you know, they, they notice you. That's what, that's what they see when they look around is just, um, you know, your energy. So that's why I kind of feel like it might be somebody who's talking to you or watching you. Cause I just get the energy of like somebody that is kind of aware, very aware of you right now. I think for some of you, you're also doing something differently lately that's getting this person's attention more. Like you might be, I don't know if you're playing hard to get or if you're just like passionate about your career and your hobbies and like the things that you're doing or you're posting on social media that you're like, you have all this, this you know, these interesting things going on or maybe you're like posting, maybe you're like posting your writing or something like that. Some Something... There's something that you're like posting or saying or doing that like makes this person think, wow, this person is really not like everybody else. Um, there's just some energy there where they're really noticing you and they're they're setting you apart from the crowd. You know what I mean? Like they're seeing you as their, they are, they're open to love in general with whether it's with you or somebody else, but they're seeing you right now as their best option. So that's good. Um, let me see. So what can you tell me about this? this secret admirer. And again, you're just really on your creative path right now. So keep doing that. Keep doing that. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing um, art, music, whatever it is that you're doing. It's um, There's just some type of creative energy that's really going well for you. And that energy is actually manifesting love in your life too, because that creativity is like channeled. It's like you're channeling a lot right now um, through your art or whatever creative projects you do. You're channeling so much and your psychic gifts are coming in even stronger. So I feel like you're just in this time, you're in this, it's just a potent time for manifestation. Like you're just in, you're getting into this creative flow where love and abundance and money and all the things that you want just come to you naturally. So just keep up with what you're doing. If it's feeling good to you and making you happy and you feel that energy, that creative flow, just, just, just keep going, keep letting it flow. Um, so what is your secret admirer going to do towards you next? What's going to happen next with this connection? I know they're kind of just observing. They're not really doing or saying much. So I don't know. 
They might be staying a little bit, but. All right, what is your secret admirer yes, towards you? What is your secret admirer going to do next? I keep, I'm hearing that um, that song by the XX Angels. It's a really nice, it's a really good song. It's a really calming song. Um, I've been listening to it a lot, but it just popped up in my head while I was um, pulling these cards. I think the lyrics are, if they could see what I see, they would be as in love with you as I am. It's a really calming song. If you like, like trippy, weird kind of calm. I don't know if you'd call it indie. I don't even know what genre you call it, but it's a really beautiful song. You guys should look it up if you like that kind of music. All right, deceit, strength. So yeah, they were in a situation where someone might have cheated or so there was like karmic or there was just like, this could just be them holding on to the past um, for way too long and like holding on to like the people that hurt them and betrayed them and like feeling like they just couldn't trust anybody and feeling like that was just justified and they were just never going to love again and just hardening their heart. Um, because you know, someone really deceived them, someone really messed them up pretty bad. But with the strength card, they're you know, they're getting past that energy finally, they're finally letting it go, they're finally deciding what and who they want in their life. Um, and that's where you're coming in again, because again, they weren't open to love before, but now they are more open to it. And they're being reminded of you all the time. They're constantly thinking about, you know, the connection, what it could be. They do still feel like they're kind of fragmented, like they do fully, they don't, they're, they're still trying to find themselves, basically, is kind of what it means. Like they might need to do some soul retrieval. Um they still feel like a part of them is missing. There's still some regret. They're like, why did that happen to me? Why did I have to go through that? There's still just some past pain that they're holding on to. So they're not quite whole, but they are thinking about you and they are wanting to be whole again. And they are wanting to, um, you know, move forward. And with high priestess of water, um, it's like, they're wanting to move forward towards you. They're wanting, you know, help getting out of this energy and help healing and help being whole again, I think, too. Yeah, they're just kind of stalking right now. Like, they're just kind of feel invisible. Like, they, they're looking at you. Like, look at this person. She's, like, it's almost like she's, like, scrying and looking, like, him or her. It's like they're, like, scrying and looking in at you at, at their high priestess of water, um, which is what you are. I know this person is like kind of like looking through this portal at you or like this this um like scrying mirror or something but they're not quite fully showing themselves they're just noticing you and they're trying to make that choice and um let's see what else we can get they're just trying to make that decision to you know move forward to leave the past behind all of that they're still in that energy but but again, they are noticing you a lot and they are wanting to come forward and, and talk to you and either get to know you better or if this is like not a new connection then just um, pick up back where you guys left off, basically. Let's see what else I can get. listening yeah see they're listening to you they're listening to what you're saying they're wanting to like retreat with you you like you're you know they they they're trying to get like alone time with you i think they want some alone time with you they want to listen to you and get to know you because they're so curious about you like they're, they're just there's this curious energy like they're seeing what you post or what you say to them or just something there's just some energy of wow this this person is different like this girl is really different um you know, and so he's really paying attention to, you know, he's really focused on like seeing him or her. He's, he's really focused on, um, you know, seeing what your personality is like and, and just really listening and paying close attention to things you say or do. And, um, you know, they used to be loyal to the past, but they're, they're letting that go now. And they're realizing that their loyalty needs to lie with somebody who's going to be loyal to them in return. So they are letting the past go. 
and they're realizing that you know those were just there there were differences in the past they're 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 trying to see it from a more um less like less of a victim perspective like you know what i just had differences with my exes it's okay it's not the end of the world like they're trying not to blame the karmic anymore and they're trying to just you know like it is what it is we had our differences but it's okay i'm gonna let go of it. i'm gonna let go of the past i'm gonna stop blaming this these other people for what i've been through um but it's like when you get hurt it's like yeah you blame other people sometimes i mean you do get in that energy where it's like you know people can screw you over and that does mess with you for a long time you know you're only human but um and that this person is just accepting that this this karmic situation is over. If they're they're letting go of that, they're letting go of whatever that that energy of the differences are, and they're they're wanting to be loyal to somebody more stable and more grounded and more loving than this karmic was. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope it resonates. Let me know what you think, and um, please like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. Have a good day.